There are three areas you might moderately expect to find a plane. The first and most apparent place is in the sky. The second is at an airport, either packing or unloading goods or passengers. The third is in an airplane hangars serving for a new vacancy. If they turn up anywhere else, it tends to be a wonderment to see them. Just like old garments, disused mobile phones, and cracked down cars, and, planes can become abandoned and they can direct off in some unexpected places when it happens. Before we move further, make sure you hit that like button, and also subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you can be up to date with our interesting content. There is a field in the town of Temple in Texas, that entertains a completely three abandoned war planes and scarcely anybody knows they are there. The trees that lie in the field are solid and compact. And so if you were watching at it from the road, you'd have no idea that there were an old McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom, two fighter jet, and two Grumman F-14 Tomcat decaying beyond all the greenery. The trees might shield the old planes from you, but they don't shield them from the climate. Time and the components have damaged their weak old frames and bushes now grow through their broken bodywork. It is known that the trio of planes once referred to the Grand Prairie Armed Forces Reserve Complex, which was based in nearby Dallas but locked down in 1998. Numerous people think the complex simply deposited to the planes after it was concluded. Although nobody has ever admitted that, a group of local amateur military historians is currently attempting to salvage the planes and gain protection for them. Perhaps they could even be refurbished one day. From a plane graveyard in the United States of America, we're driving to a plane graveyard in the United Kingdom. This one can be located on Wasteland behind the Skylark Hotel, in South End Essex and is even more puzzling than the Texan site. There is a clue and then of the street that the planes can be found on, which is an aviation way. But the land behind the hotel has been underdeveloped for decades. In addition, nobody knows how or when the battered old planes landed there. As with the Texan site, there are three planes here, and reasonably, you could help us to recognize one of them. The two large planes are both Hawker Sidley HS 748. It's an old type of airliner that was fabricated by Avro. The smaller plane is in such a weak state that we haven't been able to recognize it. Not all these years filling in the open has been kind to the steel birds without any surviving library. It's impossible to say who owns them and the hotels, as they've been there for as long as the hotel has been trading. Australian manufactured and Australian flew this Canberra first exercised to the skies in October of 1956. For inspection flights, it made the grade with flying colours and was formally delivered over to the Royal Australian Air Force in April 1958, 18 months after it took its maiden flight, as was the case with many planes of its class. This plane saw movement when Australia became involved in the war in Vietnam, where it worked with the 2nd Squadron and took part in a variety of missions, arranging to stay clear of harm and damage. Because it came home from a war in one piece, it was reimagined for a new peacetime role, a slot was cut into the bomb doors, and the Cambro was fitted with extremely specialized cartography supplies for survey missions. For the era, it would have been recognized deeply technologically advanced. We don't know what it did to earn its current fate, but it's now mounted on poles outside a caravan park near Amberley. Its registration number is still apparent painted onto its side 84-238. When the subject of supersonic flight has specified the first plane that most people think about is the French Concorde. Just as great, as the Concorde was it wasn't the first passenger aircraft to accomplish the feat. That recognition goes to the Russian Tupolev Tu-144, which should be sustained pride of place in the antiquity book. Alternately, here we see a Tupolev Tu-144 standing neglected and unloved in the back streets of Kazan. This was once an energetic plane that carried thousands of passengers during its life. But after it was handed over to the Kazan Aviation Institute, after it was retired from service, they completely left it standing in their yard. Contradict this with the way that the French look after their Concorde aircraft in Le Bourget, where it's reliable and guarded inside a hangar. The inadequate Tupolev Tu-144 has been left at the mercy of fate. 
There have been modern talk that it will be taken away to be restored and mounted as a museum piece. Kodinka, aerodrome stood in Moscow for a very prolonged time. While it was still open, it was the oldest airfield in the whole city. Planes have been in this place since 1910 when the Moscow Military District precisely designated the field as an airfield. During its peak years, it was the heart of all of Russian aviation, with the headquarters of Aerofloat and MiG located adjacent by. All good things come to an end though, and it concluded for the last time in 2003, leaving a lot of fantastic old planes persisting. Unlike some of the other aircraft we've resembled, the planes in this graveyard are still in excellent condition. And there's a wide range. The Sukhoi Su-27 still resembles ready to fly. The MiG-25 PU Foxbat still consumes its library proudly. Moreover, the Yakovlev Yak-25 is, is a coat of paint away from extending back to life. The land will ultimately be used for house development and so on by one the planes will depart. But as of right now there are still between 20 and 30 of them on position. Recognizing the F-111B interceptor parked at a boneyard in Mojave, California to work. First, you have to get a good enough picture of it to realize that the nose is smaller than its cousin, the General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark. Secondly, you have to discover the tail number to make convinced you have the right plane, only seven of these ultra-rare fighters were ever established. The first five were damaged during testing or scrapped because they were failures. One of them with frame number 152715 has been confirmed as a permanent, resident of a different boneyard at China Lake, that leaves only frame number 152714, which was used for missile tests in 1969, and then half scrapped and stripped in 1971. Only the Hulk survives and by process of elimination, we know that these pictures are of that Hulk. When the Royal Australian Air Force retired its complement of F-111 back in 2010, they chose to bury the planes alternately of allowing them to be scrapped. The jungle wreck site of a Japanese Mitsubishi G-4M bomber, the jet is an infamous one for those who know war history. It considered something of a turning point in the battle between the United States of America and Japan during the Second World War. The Japanese knew the long barrel-shaped planes as hockey bombers but betty by Americans, one such bomber had Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto, aboard as it was hovering over the Solomon Islands on April 18, 1943. Yamamoto was a particularly significant target for the Americans as he was the man who had sanctioned and designed the Pearl Harbor attack. The Americans had since broken their code, they decoded Yamamoto his travel arrangements and lay in wait for him to Lockheed P-38 Lightning, met the Admiral's plane in the air, and shot it down, sending it falling to ground in the jungle below. The pictures of the wreck horsing around the world and increased the morale of Americans, while concurrently trading a significant blow to the Japanese. Becoming a famous wreck is the least honorable way for a famous old aircraft to bow out. Therefore, by that barometer, it would reasonably be uncertain about its status as a failed restaurant in South Korea. The jumbo jet was built in 1970 and at that time was the satisfaction of the whole Pan Am fleet. It spent 29 years in the air and retired with a clean surface history in 1999. That's when a pair of prosperous South Koreans bought it and concluded it was the perfect vehicle for them to cut up and turn into a five-star eatery. All the signs suggest that the restaurant probably looked amazing when it was brand new. However, there just weren't enough customers who wanted to eat five-star food in such a strange place. The restaurant failed a few short years after it started, and the plane has simply been left standing with bits of kitchen and lounge still excited where the flight chairs should be. To add offense to injury half of one of its wings has been struck off. You may have discovered of Swamp Ghosts before, but she's such a remarkable plane that there's no way we could do a video about abandoned planes without considering her. The Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress was shot down over Papua New Guinea during 1942, but a pilot instructed to ditch her into a swamp and emerged with his life. When he made it back to base, he could not pinpoint the situation of his plane. In addition, she was recognized as lost. 
The first hint that someone might have found it came in 1972 when a helicopter pilot claimed to have detected a wrecked American bomber from the sky and the decision was finally confirmed in 2006. When a recovery team flew over it again and took photos, the rescue team transported it out of the water and took it to the wharf. But it wasn't until another four years later that they were finally permitted to export the plane back to the USA. After all these times in a swamp, the plane has now been famously salvaged and partially reconstructed. She's been granted pride of place at Pearl Harbor's Pacific Aviation Museum. Ditching into water, is something that the Douglas SPD Dauntless has in common with Swamp Ghost. Moreover, both incidents occurred during the Second World War, but the particular conditions couldn't have been more different. Swamp Ghost went down during a battle. The Dauntless went down during a training accident falling out of the sky above her home country and landing in the freezing waters of Lake Michigan. That was back in 1944. And that's where it waited until 2009. Investigators considered themselves lucky to have found it because they believe there to be hundreds of planes at the bottom of the lake. When it came to the surface, Dauntless was in shockingly good condition. The crash must have been a very gentle one because if it wasn't, there's no way the wooden antenna would have outlasted the impact. It did though, and it's still in one piece, as are the wing's tail fin and propeller. She's now experiencing careful restoration, and she might even fly again one day. Many residents lost their lives in mysterious poisonous lakes, which are just concerning the most mystical and ghostly bodies of water on our earth. Even placid lakes with glass clear water sometimes cover deadly warnings, for those who decide to dive in for a swim, or even set up camp on the beach. Is, and you must get ready because I'm going to show you the most 10 scary mysterious lakes on this planet. Number 10. Lake Natron, Tanzania. There is not a one Lake Natron in Tanzania, killing its occupants, but it also transforms their bodies, mummified flamingos, small birds, and even bats regularly cleaned up on the borders of the lake. Even scarier, the victims are preserved in stone in their final poses as if trapped in a brief moment in time, countless microorganisms give the lake, on the shore a bright orange color slowly sinking to a bright red and moving toward the center of the lake's surface. Dehydration and fumes from the lake frequently scare away large predators, attracting large numbers to have birds and small creatures seeking shelter from their natural enemies. They live their lives on neutron shores reproduce, and preserve after death, increased alkalinity and an unusual frequency of hydrogen in the water provides to the regular discharge of soda, salt, and lime. After the result, lake inhabitants don't decay after death. Number 9. Blue Lake Kabardino Balkaria, Russia. This blue lake is one of the most unique lakes in Russia. It doesn't receive its water from rivers or streams, alternately underground springs feed into the lake under its surface. The blue color comes from the water's hydrogen sulfide sustenance. The lake's depth has been measured at 258 meters, mysterious enough to submerge the sea battle area, indicator with nearly 75 meters to spare, and due to decay of the rock at its lowest depth, it's only getting more difficult. Some experts believe that the Blue Lake hides, the world's most generous system of underwater caves below its surface. Number 8. Lake Michigan, USA. Lake Michigan in the United States is one of the five special lakes apportioned between the borders of the US and Canada. A few people understand that this body of water killed hundreds of lives. There aren't any beasts and the water here is far from dead. Nevertheless, that doesn't eliminate this massive lake from being dangerous. It's all about variable underwater currents that generate rushing riptides. There is a huge risk for swimmers on the shores of Lake Michigan demanding the lives of a surprising amount of victims. Unexpectedly during the hot season, riptides can suddenly suck people away from the beach with unbelievable force, making rescue essentially impossible. In some cases, in the autumn season, it becomes particularly dangerous for boats and fishers. As directly rising currents on the surface of the water can cause huge life-threatening waves. Number 7. Dead Lake Kandy, Kazakhstan. 
This lake with a terrifying name called Kandy is located in Kazakhstan. The locals residents have long avoided it believing it to be cursed. The resident tells some chilling stories about inexplicable departures and not even necessarily in the lake itself. According to their stories, many have killed leaving a vast number of bodies at the base of the lake. Supposedly, the most maximum of them was visiting tourists unconscious to the dangers despite. What you may think the name doesn't begin from strange escapes. But because of the unusual resources of the water, the lake can't sustain life, no fish, no frogs nothing. Isolated from that, the lake remains remarkably cold even during the warmest season, and the water doesn't steam despite neighboring bodies of water concentrating twice as speedy. Number 6. Lake of Death, Italy. We know about Sicily, gratitude to the famous Sicilian Mafia, and the volcano Etna resting on the island. However, there is extra equally dangerous to call the Lake of Death. The lake contains a high consistency of sulfuric acid. As a consequence, maintaining life is impracticable any person that enters the water dies in a few minutes. It's rumored that the Italian Mafia practiced this lake to destroy the bodies of their victims. The importance of refusing offers that can't be rejected. It's undecided if the reports are true. But that must be because all the proof was dissolved in this death lake. Number 5. Boiling Lake, Dominican Republic. Boiling Lake is efficiently named because the water boils, the water temperature touches 92 degrees Celsius or 197 degrees Fahrenheit. So don't you dare to think to quick swim because this may cook you like a lobster. As a conclusion, the surface is shrouded in solid white steam, and swimming is of course strictly prohibited. The lake rests in a volcanic crater and is continually getting hotter. Even when the heat decreases the fountains of hot air or even lava systematically erupt from the bottom of the lake. Number 4. Lake Neos. This lake is located in the northwest region of Cameroon, rested quietly for centuries presenting water for many bordering villages, but under the surface there hit a catastrophic mystery. The lake became known all over the world when the seemingly peaceful waters delivered a deadly force of nature on August 21, 1986. A solid cloud of smothering gas rose from the lake leaving no survivors, people, livestock, birds, fish, and even arthropods living near its shores all perish. In 1746, human lives lost their life. Experts from all over the globe reached the site of the tragedy, they saw that the lake had been hiding a volcanic crater earlier thought to be dormant. Enormous reserves of carbon dioxide had suddenly erupted through the cracks at the bottom of the lake into the water. The gas stored in a critical frequency, many noxious bubbles broke on the water surface, delivering the lethal gas onto the surrounding populations, sustained by the wind, and the invisible clouds destroyed all living creatures nearby this lake. Experts say that carbon dioxide continues to flow into the connection and people can anticipate another statement. Number 3. Lake Karachay, Russia. Lake Karachay in the Urals region is recognized as one of the most polluted in the world. A couple of hours natural on the shore is fundamentally like assembling in an X-ray machine for hours, without a lead line incorporating, needless to say, the resulting death by radioactivity poisoning would be slow, and extremely unbearable once a living lake it was destroyed in the 50s. When it was utilized as a warehouse facility for fluid radioactive waste. Now the water level has dropped sharply exposing much of the ground below the surface. The Russian state designates large amounts of money, annually to reduce the radioactivity levels in the water in the coming years. Once the water is gone, the lake is scheduled to be charged, but defeating the problem won't resolve the sustained groundwater pollution. Number 2. Lake Brosno, Russia. Lake Brosno is located near Moscow, in the river region where citizens believe it hides, an antique lizard and much like Scotland's infamous Nessie, sightings of the Brosno monster have frequently been reported. But clear photographic evidence has never surfaced, and education of the lake hasn't provided any concrete evidence, experts suggest that local stories of an ancient monster stem, from the lake's vast depth relative to its small surface area. The natural dissolution methods at the bottom of the lake sometimes form large hydrogen sulfide bubbles. 
Once delivered, the gas could suddenly turn over a small yacht, leading locals to mistake these experiences for a beast attack. Number 1. Lake Pustoy, Russia. Lake Pustoy is located in western Siberia. Pustoy meaning blank or empty in Russian acquires its name from the fact that it doesn't support creature life. But the question is what new is right now? Loads of waters can't support life such as the Dead Sea or many of the lakes in this list explained. However, the chemical arrangement of Lake Pustoy isn't much diverse from that of the enclosing bodies of water. It's even protected for human destruction. Moreover, numerous fundamental living rivers flow into it. That said, erratic fish never swim into the lake, because they understand the outcomes. Residents also tried to stock the lake with crucian carp. But they all vanished soon after. Explorers have examined to investigate this strange miracle, but results are still unresolved. So it we understand several stories about humans like dolphins and heroic dogs, but it's much more difficult to imagine a lion and a huge gorilla or whale that rush to save someone humans live in trouble. This issue is devoted to animals who in a critical condition displayed impossible intelligence, sympathy, and strength of determination. Each of these animals saved a human life. 10 Heroic Animals Who Saved Human Lives From Immediate Death Number 10. In 2005, the 12-year-old girl from Kenya, was kidnapped by men who wanted to force her toward marriage. The child was found in the company of three lions who as it aimed out freed the hostage by shocking the kidnappers. It directed out that until the moment when the Ethiopian police arrived, the lions safeguarded the little girl about half a day. They didn't hurt her and kept an eye on her so that no one other would approach her. The animals moved only when the dependents of the Ethiopian police arrived and rescued her. Authorities advised that such a generous response of predators was encouraged by the girl's tears, which could be related to the sounds composed by lions. Number 9. On August 19, 1996, in Brookfield Zoo, Chicago. This area was hit by a three-year-old boy. He escalated onto the fence that separated the gorillas from the spectators and fell directly to the primates. The top of the fence was 5 meters, the boy was, unfortunately, hit his head and became paralyzed. Since it took a long time for human help. The baby's rescue was taken over by a huge gorilla named Bindu Yuha. She faithfully took the boy in her arms and shook it carried it to the arrival of the cage enclosure where rescuers reached. The police and zoo workers realized that individual this condition could have been resolved much more dangerous. Number 8. The pig guy Lulu was a gift for a woman's birthday, but she did not like the present, and she did want to take it home the girl's mother you insecure, the pig partly from pity and partially with views of the expected Easter feast. The individual natures of the pig were of no interest to anyone. But it directed out that the lack of attraction was extremely paid by imagination and even nobility. When Yuan had a heart attack, Lulu quickly located and rushed to help or preferably ran for help. You have to acknowledge that this was a heroic performance for the pig which was to become a feast. The important thing is that while her landlord did not have an attack, Lulu never more left the territory of the fence to yard but when her landlord needed her help, she understood out how to open the lunch. She rushed to the nearest highway waited for the oncoming car and lay down in the city of the road. It had to wait long after 45 minutes one of the car drivers stood, and went with a pig Lulu to the landlord house where he found helpless. When the man called the ambulance and arranged to save the lady, number 7. This incident happened in the aquarium Polar Land which is located in the Chinese city of Harbin. During the competition, scuba divers had to dive to the depths of the aquarium with cold water where whales floated without scuba gear to a depth of around 6 meters. One of the participants was 26 years old young named Yang Yun. As quickly as she reached the ground, her leg cramped in the icy water and was terrified, she began to suffocate. It seemed that death could not be bypassed. Luckily, a wise looking beluga named Mila was dragging by, she elevated the girl to the surface holding her leg with her mouth. The girl survived and the organizer of the competition credited Mila with saving Yun's life. Number 6. Somewhere we can expect loyalty and courage from a rabbit. So it was until the day while a guy named Simon fell into a diabetic coma that could end unhappily, this occurred when Simon was relaxing on the couch in his apartment. His wife Victoria was nearby and was sure that her partner fell asleep after a hard day's work. 
In the apartment, there was also the rabbit Doherty, who quickly sensed that the landlord was not all right. She hopped on Simon and began to jump on him energetically investigating to bring him back to life. Soon Victoria his consideration was drawn to the greatly unusual performance of the pet. She realized that something was incorrect with my husband and quickly called an ambulance. Thanks to the feeling and pursuance of a normal rabbit and human life were saved. Number 5. The long-haired cat Masha was common to all inhabitants of the residential complex in Minsk. Many people worried about her. Masha existed in the corridor in a box that had been installed for her a cold January. In the year 2015, one of the citizens of the house looked into the box and was terrified. There was a newborn baby in the box and Masha was warming the baby with her body. That baby was quickly taken to the hospital. Where he survived and all because of the cat Masha because it was she who protected the baby from hypothermia. Number 4. Real Glendon a boy from Ontario, Canada. Lost his parents as a result of an accident that occurred while hiking on the mountain. The boy was taken to spend the night outside in extremely cold weather. Later on, the boy lay down to sleep for some time. He felt warm for covered body pressed to him he thinks that maybe there is really was a dog but, when he woke up in the morning, he saw three beavers sitting beside him. If it lasted not for them, the boy presumably would have died that cold night. Number 3. In the year 2008, the cat Tara from Brooklyn had been experiencing the life of an average domestic cat for six years alongside the three sons of a married couple. May 13, 2014. Tara showed how strong her association with Jeremy for was. She risked her life to save him. Jeremy was riding a bicycle on the lawn of his house, when a neighbor's dog ran to the boy grabbed his right leg, and started to pull him off from the bicycle. Before Erica, the mother of the boy survived to run up to him, but cat Tara firing sharp claws attacks the dog pushing it to release the child. Then she struck the dog from the yard and turned to the boy. Number 2. In 2011, the orphan dog Nita from Krasnoyarsk rescued four-year-old Andre from death. That four-year-old boy Andre who played and left the apartment the child passed by a frozen pond where ducks were floating on the water, and he decided to feed them with bread. He served the birds from the shore but then decided to go closer and fell on that water. The ice screams of the child were heard only by the dog Nita who raised a loud barking. The boy's neighbor heard the barking, and as she came closer, and saw Andre who by that time was no longer running. Because of the cold as a result the child was released dragged out of the water, and an ambulance was called gratitude to the dog Nita. The child persisted and she herself was covered by one of the local residents. All technological merchandise we use today inaugurated as an idea in someone's perception. It then went from an idea to a blueprint, and then to a prototype and then eventually to a product that we were able to go out and buy. Not every good approach makes it all the way along that chain. Some of them fail at the blueprint stage, and others make it as far as an effective prototype, but they don't quite get over the line as fully recognized concepts. This video is packed full of great technological near mishaps of the past. Before we move further, make sure you hit that like button, and also subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you can be up to date with our interesting content. Back in the 1960s, military minds were still experimenting with the potential of helicopters, and what they could be capable of. One of the most experimental ideas of all came from the Soviet Union, where a company called Yakovlev, imagined up an idea they refer to as the VVP-6. Well, it may have resembled an enormous helicopter, the flying engine was really a flying surface-to-air missile program with rotors, and would have competent a vertical takeoff and landing, we say would have because we never had the opportunity, to find out a scale model of the VVP-6 was built, but never a full-sized working device or even a private prototype. The mechanical specifications of the craft, were considered to be too intricate and too difficult to build. And so the military passed on the opportunity, to pay for further installation and testing. It might have been more suited to science fiction than science fact. But it's still an idea that was reasonably years ahead of its time. Here in the 21st century, we have a very distinct idea of what a tank looks similar, how it moves, and what it's composed. Back in the 1920s, no such regulated idea survived. 
Almost every advanced military force in the world was busily trying to come up with a reliable big armored vehicle for use on the battlefield. But their purposes were very different from each other. Arguably the first country to come close. Designing what we'd recognize as a tank by modern standards was Sweden, who came up with the Landfair L5 in 1929. Despite its apparent promise and the fact that it visibly fulfilled almost all of the criteria that would have been expected of a tank of that era, the machine was never tested on the battlefield. The one unit that was built as a prototype, and according to the documents that still exist from that era, it was never supposed to be complete. Interestingly, although it was Swedish by design, all of the work on the Landsberg was compensated for by Germany. At the time the extension of tanks was banned in Germany, so their military had to rely on trusted nations for support with military development. The existence and exploits of an eccentric aviation enthusiast, and filmmaker Howard Hughes are well documented in publications, television shows, and even a movie regarding his life. He was concerned in the design of many experimental aircraft, while the middle of the 20th century, including the Hughes XH-17, the first helicopter his Hughes Aircraft Company ever endeavored to build. The two-bladed rotor system with its 134-foot diameter, still holds the world record for the largest operation rotor system ever built. Moreover, a lot of ways the vehicle was a success. It could fly and it was honestly safe, but its entire weight of 50,000 pounds, made it cumbersome and disorganized from a power point of view. Accordingly, it was decided that the primitive chopper shouldn't be considered for mass reproduction. Having made its first flight in late 1952, it had been consigned to use a scrap bundle of failed ideas by the end of 1955. Entirely one unit of the aircraft was ever built. Throughout the 20th century, both the Americans and the Soviet Union were continually struggling for new military ideas. That would give them supremacy over their most generous rivals. That led to the design and partial construction of several experimental military devices, including a floating submarine by the Russians. And as absurd as the idea sounds, it was very almost a success. The first impression of a Russian flying submarine came from the 1930s, when engineer Boris Butekov Chicago drew up the first conceivably viable blueprint for such a device. It developed to be essentially sound, but expensive, and difficult to develop. So the approach was taken no further a vehicle drawn, from the waters off the coast of California in 1963, was declared by the Americans to be of Soviet design, and developed to at least nominally match Chicago's design. The White House went as far as alleging that the Russians were building, innovative planes and submarines on the Copeland Islands. Possibly they were just suspicious. The Russian design, the Americans attempted to come up with a flying submarine, of their own between 1945 and 1964. With little success before they eventually, came up with the Lockheed Martin Cormorant in 2006. Is this Boeing production a plane or a helicopter? The famous aircraft design company first announced its ambitious design in 2010, when it was uncovered under the name of the DARPA Discrota helicopter. With this particular design Boeing hopes to consolidate, the landing control and hovering experience that comes with helicopters, with the high height and speed aptitudes of a plane. As is often the case with new inventions like these, it was hoped that the military would be involved, in ordering several units of the new vehicle. Boeing had been working on the design since 2008, that they would produce wind tunnel testing in 2011, with a view to two in a fully operating prototype out for its first flight in 2014, but we're here in 2020, and there's been no indication of it. Boeing has never officially proclaimed, that the project has been abandoned. But they didn't say anything further about it since 2011. We're left to terminate that at some point during the design method, possibly even during the earlier mentioned wind tunnel testing, a layout flaw was recognized and couldn't be overcome. Everything touching the space was a big competition was big, huge rockets, huge launch pads, huge costs, and it nearly had large helicopters to have, the Hiller Aircraft Company of California USA possessed their way all the footage, we have the Saturn V projectiles would look very distinctive. 
As insane as it sounds to hear this outbrash now back in 1965, the company demanded to have designed a colossal helicopter, that could hardly carry the first grade of a Saturn V rocket. But also overtake one in midair while it was falling. The broadness of the rotor alone would be more extensive, than a US football field. Stan Hiller, who owned the company and came up with the idea, referred to his creation as a rotary wind system for promoter recovery, and wrote to NASA asking for funding so they could establish, an operational prototype. It probably says a lot that NASA give out capital, like candy to impressive projects back in the 1960s. But it determined not to fund this one. The only trace of the idea left is a small-scale operation model, that hangs from the ceiling in the company's museum. You can do virtually everything with this prototype Lexus car. Other than pushing at home in the rain or getting the wheels wet, first showcased in 2015. This is the world's first ever and probably only ever, origami car made almost completely out of cardboard. The doors, interior wheels, and despite headlights are made from cautiously carved and shaped cardboard. And so the exclusive non-cardboard elements, are the lightweight aluminium architecture and electric motor. This isn't so much a discarded concept as a car that was built to prove a position. The point is that it is reasonable, to make vehicles enhanced environmentally beneficial. If architects are willing to think outside the box. It took a team of five people three months to achieve, the design and build work on the Lexus, which can be inspired just like any other car. The seats look a little uncomfortable to us, but we can't help but be impressed, by the level of skill that must have gone into putting all of this together. Toward the sea and aircraft carrier looks like a gigantic ship but something does it look like in the air? It might look like a gigantic balloon. Similar to the ill-fated USS Macon ZRS-5. It's hard to call this a failed prototype because, it persisted in service for almost two years after it was originated in March 1933. However, after a destructive crash in 1935, it was abandoned and no replacement was formulated. It had been concluded that the use of airships, like this was just too terrible. The USS Macon could transport five single-seater, Sparrowhawk planes at the same time, or two-seater fleet into Y-1 biplane instead, if needed, many service mines were questionable, of it from the moment it first flew. And when it came down in a blast off the big Zua coast of California, it was the pretense that they've been waiting for to command, that the Macon be forgotten about, and no other ships or replacement aircraft should be developed. Its more unexpected sister ship, the USS Sacron had also been affected, in a fatal accident by the time the production went down, which further emphasized the unreliability of the design. A speedy, positive vertical takeoff and landing aircraft was a long-standing, desire for both sides of the Second World War battle. And each major nation included in the war was working on an intention. Some of them got resembling coming up with a working model than others. And it would seem that the Nazis weren't far away from victory at all in 1944. This is Volker Wulf Triab Flugel, the name of which foundation plates as Thrustwing Hunter, the Germans hoped that it could be practiced to intercept Allied planes, which by that stage of the war were sticking further, and further into the German mainland on bombing missions. A full-sized prototype had been constituted by the Germans, and was in the process of going through wind tunnel testing when Allied forces, seized the generation equipment that housed the unit. With the Germans driven back, the Allies clinched the prototype, and the project came to an unexpected end. Probably, anything useful that could be gathered from the design was then assigned, between Allied intelligence agencies and used to promote their designs. Back in 2012 French Naval Technology Group in DCNS, was very excited about its theory for a brand new type of submarine, associated with SMX-26. The futuristic looking and strangely shaped marine craft, was supposedly operating to be proficient in defending the places, that other submarines couldn't go littoral zones and depthless waters. The SMX-26 would thrive in areas where water was shorter than 50 feet deep, and could also remain submerged, for up to a month with no inimical effects to the ship, 
or the team that lived aboard, her and extendable wheeled undercarriage, would allow it to ground quickly and securely in any type of seabed, and hoses could be immediately stationed to the surface to access air in an urgency. It sounds like an incredible piece of machinery, and every navy wants this in the world. They might be arranging a long time though, after getting everyone amazed by their 2012 announcement. They're still yet to produce anything that looks like a prototype. Sometimes a weaponry designer gets exhausted, from making general boring guns and bombs, and determines to make something unique. The consequences are often as refreshing as they are utterly wacky. The subsequent 10 examples are the kinds of weaponry, invented by the fevered minds of technicians, when they stop considering things like distinction and practicality. Before we move further, make sure you hit that like button, and also subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you can be up to date with our interesting content. Number 10. Northrop, XP-79. Let us convert from the Third Reich for note, as they were not the only military to dabble in weaponized complex, enter the Northrop XP-79, a so-called bomberama that was assigned to do exactly what its signature indicates. The XP-79 was composed to ram opponent bombers out of the sky, practicing the reinforced leading edges of its wings. The cockpit was assembled with armored glass that would defend the pilot from any collision. The XP-79 never went for the testing step, though not for the intellect you probably think during its first and only flight, the pilot succumbed his control from the aircraft recorded an irretrievable turn and crashed. Harry Crosby the testing pilot was killed, while the aircraft upon endeavoring an emergency exit, hit him. The program was consequently rejected. Number 9. Messerschmitt, Mi-163 Comment. This is all is for the Nazis. They did not lack for audacity. They were prepared to try just about any idiotic idea, if they believed it would help them to win the war. Unluckily for them, the Comet only developed into service, in the final year of the battle much too late, to turn the stream in their courtesy. It's undividedly likely that it wouldn't have expressed anyway, to get the positives out of the way, the 163 Comet was a rocket-powered aircraft, and a time when most aircraft were still propped pressed. But that's about it. For one thing, the aircraft was vulnerable dangerous, to start as emptiness would infrequently, form in the fuel fluid, beginning it to explode when it shifted on. This fuel was also a fusion of two highly sarcastic substances, that would spontaneously combust upon mixing, whether or not one required it to. Once in the air, the 163 Comet only had sufficient fuel for 8 minutes of powered flight, which drastically restricted how long it could operate. It also flew too speedy for its main guns to be very precise. The landing was a dicey position, as damaging landing gear made me 163 Comet prone to reversing, at which point it would often reveal blue. Number 8, Panzer, 8 Mouse. Contradiction surely performed a part in the identifying, of the Panzer Camp Wagon 8 Mouse, as it displays no resemblance to its namesake. Weighing in at a huge 188 metric tons, it retains the title of the largest armored fighting vehicle. Its topmost speed was only 22 km per hour, 14 miles per hour, but with armor up to 220 mm 8.7 inches solid. Whenever the lumberjacking eventually approached its target, the sequence of its sheer weight and 128 mm, 5 inch main gun would be enough to crash, through any obstruction that comes on its route. With weaponry like this, the Nazis would be unconquerable right? Well, that Hitler resembled to think so, as he was arguably the tank's most generous defender. Honorably, Maus had infinite flaws that it held back. For one thing, a dominant engine was demanded to propel the monster, which was a terrible gas guzzler. Its sheer power, meant that it couldn't even cross any bridges. Its enormous dimension would have also made a loose target, for Allied bombers. Total A get an initial order of 150, but only two were manufactured, before Hitler eliminated this project. Number 7, Antonov, A-40. A flying tank seems like the kind of thing a nine-year-old practically, or Hideo Kojima, a game designer might come up with, but that didn't stop, 
Oleg, and Tonov, Oleg required to devise a way to get a battle read, Y tank onto the battleground without gambling a plane being restrained by the enemy fire. When completely dropping tanks out of planes, and holding their crew's parachute down to the evidence, to be an unfeasible clarification to this problem, but he had a simplistic solution, slap some glider formation's wings on that bad boy, and let it glide to the ground. However, as you might presume when trying to make a tank, flyweight proved to be a major obstacle. Just to prepare the vehicle airborne, demanded the removal of its weapons, fuel, and armor. The test pilot explained the landing as soft, and was even able to drive it back to headquarters. Unhappily, this was not satisfactorily, and the agenda was ultimately abandoned. Number 6, Convair, X6. Nuclear-powered vehicles are an engaging proposition for any military, because it would allow them to produce for remarkably long periods. Unfortunately, radioactivity is a changeable mistress, and one must be conscious of its capability, to harm as much as it accommodates, just ask the fine folks who invented the Convair X-6, it was envisioned as a nuclear-powered decisive bomber that could stay overhead, for weeks at a time to defend the crew. 12 tons of rubber and element, would have been demanded to shield the reactor. While a few test flights were managed. The program was ultimately abandoned. The Convair NB-36H, portrayed below was the only, US aircraft that conducted a thermonuclear reactor. Number 5, SLAM, Project Pluto. The supersonic low-altitude rocket SLAM was crazy weaponry, even by the examples of an article about crazy weapons. Envisioned as a third system of vengeance, against the Soviet Union in the effect of a nuclear war. The SLAM was a thermonuclear weapon produced with nuclear power, a nuclear-powered ramjet would heat air slammed, into the missile as it flew, which would give it limitless expanse. While the missile itself would stock an extraordinary nuclear warhead. It was also composed to carry multiple shorter nuclear bombs. Once on the final entrance to its destination, it would rain down its nuclear payload, before the missile itself exploded at its final target. There were many judgments about why this project was scrapped. One of the biggest was that just experimenting with the thing would explain unfeasibly. The unshielded atomic reactor, that powered it would execute any land it flew over lethally poisonous. If the radiation didn't do the job, the shockwave might have as it was gambled, that the shockwave force kills anyone underneath it. Eventually, anywhere the thing grounded, would become a nuclear disaster zone. The government ultimately concluded, that ICBMs could do a similar job extra efficiently, and the project was discarded. Number 4, Railguns. Don't appreciate the power of magnetic energy, you apparently will after escorting a presentation of a railgun firing. Applying the power of electromagnetism. This weaponry can accelerate a projectile to velocities in excess of Mach 7. The projectiles hit with even bigger destructive power than a 12.7 meter, 5 inch qualified gun, and with an even larger range, as its ammunition is smaller than that of a traditional shell. More extra rounds can be collected and conduct, with no risk of exploding if hit by enemy fire. Sounds like a precise weapon not quite. The excessive heat produced by firing quickly warps, the rails of the gun, hugely limiting how many full powered shots it can execute. It also requires an extensive amount of force to fire. Currently, only two vessels in the Navy, can produce enough to fire from railguns. Ultimately, the exact shots are hard to aim, proposing that a guidance system will be demanded to make it accurate. However, unlike the other entries on this list, the railgun is still being produced by militaries all over the world. Number 3, Boeing YAL-1. Since the beginning of the ballistic missile, countries have struggled to come up with a way to defend themselves from these weapons. The YAL-1 was Boeing's answer to this puzzle. It was a plane equipped with a chemical laser, to shoot down any missiles system. During the testing, actually shot down to test missiles, but the laser was expensive, and demanded a huge amount of power to operate. The plane that carries that was also a large, heavy, and easy target for enemy interceptors. The project was aborted and the plane was scrapped in many pieces. Number 2, Panjandrum. 
shifting into the back to World War II, on the associated side. The Panjandrum was a project consisting of two rocket-powered wheels discs, propelling a cart full of explosives ammunition. It was designated to be used on a beach defending. The only obstacle once you denoted it at a mark and lit the detonator, it was up to the inconstant lens of fortune as to where the thing actually went. In addition, the rockets that launched it would sometimes come loose and fly off in unplanned directions. After a destructive launch that almost resulted in the weapon killing a crowd of VIP viewers, this as the reason that project has been abandoned. Number 1, Project Babylon. Third world dictatorships, are like the irritating younger brothers of their more unconventional cousins. They want one to generally this applies to weapons of mass disruption. Dictator Saddam Hussein, in particular had a dangerous case of WMD lust, and tried at several points to procure nuclear and chemical weapons. However, Project Babylon would have taken everything to the next level. Producer and project leader Gerald Bull, envisioned a supergun competent of launching spacecraft into orbit. But Saddam had other plans, the dictator would have used the 156 meters 512 foot barrel, to launch missiles farther than the Scud missiles he already owned. Nevertheless, the gun was so large and heavy that it would have had, to be installed into the side of a mountain hill, producing it impracticable aim. Its huge size would have also made it an obvious mark. The project was ultimately cancelled, when Mossad agents assassinated, Gerald Bull, possibly. The eight wonders of the unsuspecting world may have been suggested too quickly. Top wonders like the Grand Canyon and Victoria Falls are unquestionably biggest on this planet. Anyone who wants to see them will be fascinated. But absolute size isn't enough to leave a character in all. There are more places in this world, that are so far more isolated places that seem almost exotic. These are places that scientists possess should to grapple just to understand that how they eternally could have been developed. Places that will truly make you admire, not just cause their elegance so far but because they resemble to understand scientific codes that don't survive anywhere else on this planet. Number 10. Devil's Kettle. The far as natural mysteries persevere. The Devil's Kettle in Minnesota is part of the most interesting ones due to the particular spot forward with the Brule River. This river splits water into two. One split continues its path onto the Lake Superior and the additional split. Well, we haven't found any clue where it goes. Explorers know it has to stop up someplace, but we don't have any answer that where that place is. Explorers first attempted putting stain into the pot and remained to see, which part of the lake changes of the glow. It was a hopeless attempt but nothing aimed up. The next day they selected to try it with ping pong shots. They also disappeared without any footprint. At that time no one can understand that what is going on. We all acknowledge that the laws of science prescribe that the water has to turn up someplace. Balanced if it is being stored unusual. There should be recognizing and it should be accountable. Immigrants parallel universe in our programming and amazing mind trap. Number 9. Hey Sudale Lights. Citizens of his Hestalen Valley, Norway. Remain frequently existing in a range of great scientific magic. Practically every night lights resemble in the atmosphere. They stain dazzling appearances. They bounce around shift shapes, flash, mistakenly and escape, only to develop the closed day during the night. This has been working on concerning four decades at most limited. Scientists are puzzled by this mystery. There are opinions though, although none seems to be good enough. Because at least the early 1930s people have detected the lights and presumed something could be provoking them. One theory intimates that the lake signifies radioactive. The radon writes dust shreds and upon heights, it decomposes and generates lights. Another theory recommends that the center of the valley has extensive sulfuric acid. Sulfur responds to the liquid and produces what explorers designate glitters. Centuries of examinations have been performed to pinpoint the severe charges except to no services. Number 8. Movile Cave, Romania. 
Southeastern Romania there is a hole that was secured away from the most inadequate ray of light for 5.5 million years and has a radically unconventional environment from the planet. The cave was found by workers looking to set up an energy plant. They examined the territory to see if it was a secure place to increase and shattered open a pathway that drives into one of the most unexplored places on the universe. If you drop through the conservative shaft and transferred a series of mines, you enter an antechamber with a lake of sulfuric water stinking of infected germs. The atmosphere there is poisonous filled with hydrogen sulfide and polluted with 100 times the exterior level of carbon dioxide. The most unusual part though is that a whole ecosystem has sustained inside it. Researchers have found 33 species inside the cave that don't exist any place outside. They've accommodated to survive in a sulfuric environment surviving by feeding off the lather on top of the rocks. Number 7. Lake Karachari, Russia. The Soviet Union held many nuclear plants and most of them were ill-planned and risky. Inside one such company, there is a lake. The lake's water has numerous radioactive substances than everywhere other on Earth. This lake is so radioactive that you will expire within a moment if you persist near it. Soviets evacuated nuclear devastation into the lake. Their nuclear methods have provoked a few obstacles with the lake in history. In 1957, an explosion blew the industry exclusively and the radioactive particles spread more exceeding than 23,000 kilometers. The city is more radioactive than Chernobyl. The lake has been closed with concrete to keep these hazards from occurring. Still the whole area unpredictable and abundantly massively radioactive. Number 6. Never Ending Lightning Storm in western Venezuela across the Catatumbo River, there was a market that never ceases beginning at 7 p.m. Every night lightning strikes over the water for 10 hours every night. 260 nights every year. Nobody understands for sure why it occurs. Up until recently, the leading theory continued that it had something to do with uranium in the bedrock. Although explorers are starting to question it. Today, the advanced theory is a complicated one due to the shape of the mountains generated warm winds to conflict with cold air from the Andes. In that contention is then fueled by the rapidly vanishing water below and methane from a nearby oil field. Nobody really knows for certain, though why it arrives. Everything about it is puzzling, including one moment in 2010 when it inexplicably suspended. One day, the storm just sank down without reason and looked for a while to be above. Then after six weeks of quietness, it sparked up again and has been exploding ever since. Number 5. Circles of Namibia. There is an environmental mystery sitting during Namibian deserts. There are areas of grass with wheels carved in them at regular periods. The sequences are almost perfectly organized and can range from 10 to 65 feet in diameter. And by the system, if you were thinking of the documentary the signs are not alone. Neglect reading the circles. Investigators are not even sure of the more basic proposals such as, why are there circles? Why not any accidental shape? Extinction grows in these series patches. Scientists have come up with various assumptions and all have been exposed almost instantaneously. In 2013 Norbert Jurgens, an environmental explorer said that termites were the reason for the circles. But in 2015, biologist explorer Walter Schinkel examined the hypothesis and denied it. Number 4. The Sleeping City of Kalachi. The city of Colombia, Kazakhstan does not Disney's production. It is essentially real as it occupies. Residents of Collage 2 face a very strange epidemic. People just collapse into naps randomly, despite while walking on the road. They further report mind loss, fatigue, and illusions. The epidemic influences people of all genders and generations. Kazakhstan has even prescribed evacuations. But they are no closer to resolving the problem. One method recommends that the citizens are suffering some kind of radiation, poisoning considering and the area is near to uranium mine. However, there are imperfections in that speculation. 
All the hemoglobin tests and other monitoring has turned up zero confirmation. Secondly, there is a society that is resembling the talent and culture and they have proclaimed no such pandemic. Number 3. The Double Tree of Casozzo. During the countryside of Piemonte, Italy and there that holds an amazing display. There was a cherry tree there that looks in the largest respects perfectly similar to any other normal cherry tree. Besides that it appears to be growing directly on the height of a mulberry tree. This isn't entirely unique. Parasitic trees have developed out of others advanced, but frequently they are short, bulky objects that live short days before befalling off. The double tree of consortia though, parallels of two fully developed healthy trees, each increasing its branches 5 meters beyond. Nobody considerably knows how it occurred. The locals assume that a bird may have released a cherry seed on the height of the mulberry tree. The seed turned roots that forced through the mulberry trees, curved trunk and transferred all the way to the clay below, letting it persevere and develop into a complete healthy tree. Number 2. The Boiling River Rooted in the Amazon occupies a river for miles long and unspecified other on Earth. The Shinitim Pika is so hot that any creature that climbs into it gets boiled alive. When a helpless creature strays in the ice coke first melting and it's finished. Soon the creature is in too much pain to keep paddling to protection. Water supplies its mouth and lungs and it is prepared from the inside out. The river gets as burning as 91 degrees Celsius 196 degrees Fahrenheit. And explorers aren't entirely sure why. Usually, water that gets this hot is supported by a volcano, but this one is 700 kilometers extracted from the most related one. There is a system though, experts believe that boiling hot water from under the surface cracks through fault lines and burns up the river, making the water a geothermal operation unlike any other on this planet. Number 1. The Hum of Taos. A barely loud buzzing sound that you posterior pinpoint can provoke you. We have all moved there when a different lawnmower or RTV begins, creating a buzz except and until we die to find where it's appearing from. It seems like our brain is destroying itself from the center. Now believe the pain and disappointment of citizens of Taos in New Mexico. Since the early era of the 1990s huge numbers of residents of Taos have protested about a continuous humming sound. It can be heard all approximately in the town for the last two decades. Some various researchers have tried to locate the hill but to no conclusion. Some explorers have hypothesized that the town citizens are superheroes who can discover sound that ordinary humans can't. However, that raises more extra questions than statements. In this world, remarkable people understand that there is nothing unexplored living on Earth. But the world doesn't stop to surprise us with amazing mysteries. So today we are going to tell you regarding the last places on the planet and creatures that exist. Number 10. Spine of Scotia, South Oceana. Over a depth of 2 kilometers and 400 meters in South Oceana, there is an individual water site, which was found in 2012. This place is heated by hydrothermal springs. Its temperature is transferred 382 degrees Celsius. Huge territories of unknown species thrive in a warm, mysterious atmosphere. Explorers have discovered a huge number of albinos octopus, and albino crab that uses hair on its claws to grow bacteria, that detoxify the infected poison water. Number 9. Shima Humboldt, Venezuela. On a prehistoric plateau, Venezuela has many sinkholes, but the most comprehensive of them is Shima Humboldt, Venezuela. It was detected in November of 1961. The approximately circular deadfalls to a depth of almost 314 meters. It is so massive that its ecosystem with many accurately unfamiliar plants has formed on its behind. Given the mythological and mysterious situation. It remained not continuously 1974 that a proper, well furnished, and a funded journey was mounted to make the trek to the flat top peak and its spiritual sinkholes. This funnel like a vanished world grounded out to be on our planet. Number 8. The Melville Range, Australia. This mysterious place is located high on a giant cobblestone in Cape York, in the north of Queensland. In the year 2013, 
biologists found a tropical forest that can only be touched by helicopter. More amazing species of animals were discovered that existing only here in the forest. For example, a gecko lizard with a leaf-like tail that you never saw before. Number 7. Mount Basavi, New Guinea. The newly discovered that on one kilometer crater is a home for many creatures that have shifted themselves and isolated from the external world since its last explosion, which occurred 200,000 years ago. It was reviewed in the year 2009. For the BBC film The Lost World of the Volcano, the group found more than 40 exotic species of monsters. For example, this enormous rat measuring a 2 centimeters in length size. Number 6. Mountains of Palawan. Philippines. In the year 2007, during an expedition on the isolated region of the island of Palawan Philippines and many mysterious plants were identified. At the right tops of the peaks are the remains of another world. Investigators explored fascinating species that are found nowhere else on earth. For example, such a large carnivorous plant that feeds on rodents and even small monkeys. There are pink ferns and blue mushrooms which remain still a mystery. Number 5. The Muval Cave, Romania. This unusual natural appearance reminds, the underground world of Jules Verne, journey to the center of the earth, than a practical place. The cave of Muval in Romania discovered in 1986. It one of the most isolated places on earth, which directed out to be a fruitful location for an examination of explorers. They understand that inquiring this unusual cave can provide answers to many puzzles, including the presence of life on earth. When geological investigations start before the structure of the energy plant, at a depth of 18 measures, a closed cave system including peculiar shapes was discovered fed by the underground waters called Muval. It had an atmosphere, that this cave holds a unique ecosystem that has existed and is originating presumably for the last 5 million years. Without an association to the Earth's surface 46 terrestrial and aquatic insects were found. Amongst them are arthropods, leeches, and mollusks. The residents of the cave are blind and determined to touch and smell, as well as catching the slightest fluctuations of the stone, air, or water. Number 4. The Challenger Abyss. The most mysterious part of the world's oceans, at the foundation of the Mariana Trench in the western Pacific Ocean. With the most astonishing ecosystem on the planet, with its depth is 10,971 meters. The connection to the height of the highest point of the world Mount Everest is 8,848 meters. However, at a gravity of 1,600 meters from the surface of the Pacific Ocean, there are hydrothermal sources that heat the water to 450 degrees Celsius, but it seems not to boil here due to an impossible pressure 155 times higher than on the surface. At the foundation of the Mariana Trench giant 10 centimeters, amoeba was found in association, the length of an ordinary amoeba is half a millimeter. The temperature, large pressure, and lack of sunlight possibly committed to the fact that these amoebas have acquired non-standard extensions. Number 3. Cave Hang Sun Doom. This huge cave is the biggest cave on the planet when measured by cross-section in the world. In the year 1991, Hang Sun Dong Cave was discovered by a local man named Ho Khan. The residents who existed in these places were afraid to be near the cave and all because of the whistling noise of the river flowing down the cave. In the undercover hall of the cave, there is sufficient area for a 40-story skyscraper. Several years ago in the roof of the cave holes were developed, through which light entered the underground chambers. Along with them came the plants. Now you can see an exceptional jungle surround this cave. There is so much place here that its ecosystem has been instructed. Bounded with a huge forest, a big river, and many many marvelous things. Number 2. Lake Vostok, Antarctica. Vostok is one of the longest lakes on the Earth for 15 million years. Researchers are ultimately ready to confirm that life in Lake Vostok in Antarctica, which has remained sealed up by 4 kilometers, 2.5 miles, of ice for millions of years. Located under 4 kilometers of ice, the lake is even more desolate than the surface directly over it, while drilling, explorers at Vistok station covered the air at minus 89 degrees Celsius, the most frozen temperature ever recorded on Earth. Over 3,500 different species have been identified by a form of demographic analysis known as metagenomics. They sequenced all the biogenetic material in their individuals, 
at once, and used advanced analytical procedures, to make sense of the resulting mixture of information. There are a lot of living organisms whose DNA does not relate to any recognized species. This finding points, though how long life can survive on how little energy. Could life survive a trip within space on an asteroid? Lake Vistok explicates us how few environments we really can disbelieve in our search for life in the universe. Number 1. Mount Roraima, South America. Mount Roraima the most prominent is the highest of South America's Pecarima Mountains, and one of the world's most exceptional natural geological structures. The 31 square kilometer top area is defined by 400 meter tall cliffs, on all surfaces and involves the borders of Brazil, Venezuela, and Guyana. The most significant discovery was the remains of ancient animals that resided here quite recently. What they died from is not clear yet. Honestly, they were tested on by aliens. Since not removed from the waterfall the expedition, found a large round platform without vegetation and sprinkled, with some silvery powder laboratory investigation, later discovered that it is an alloy of uncommon elements that do not really get out of the planet. Some people have always been frightened of bridges, like some human phobia sufferers often seek to avoid crossing bridges altogether, driving miles out of their way to bypass them. Of course, quite several bridges can be harsh experiences for those with acrophobia, as adequately. With some amazing bridges, however, horror seems to be the only practical response. Here we look at the top 12 terrifying bridges that would divert anyone's mind. Number 12. Titleist Cliff Walk, Switzerland. To meet the Titleist Cliff Walk, you will primary need to climb Mount Titleist, where you will find the bridge delivering for you at the peak. You will then walk through the glacier cave via an undercover tunnel to arrive at it. The Titleist Cliff Walk is around 3,000 meters 10,000 feet higher than the sea level and 100 meters 330 feet long spun, but only 1 meter 3.3 feet wide. It extends from one rock face to another in the Swiss Alps. The bridge intersects roughly 500 meters and 1,600 feet deep gap, walking in the single line it is assumed 150 steps to the other side over the gap. Once you get to the opposite side, you can then take the ice flyer chairlift to the top of the other side of the glacier. We can only question why no one considered just climbing up the other side in the first station. Number 11. Royal Gorge Bridge, Colorado. The Royal Gorge Bridge. The world's most distinguished bridge until 2001 was built in 1929, for a paltry $350,000. The bridge spans 384 meters 1,260 feet across Colorado's luxurious Royal Gorge, the Arkansas River thunders by 291 meters 955 feet underneath, infrequently carrying white water timbers battling against the components. It took just six months to assemble the bridge. The two main cables each weigh 200 tons and consists of 2,100 individual cables twisted together. 1,292 lumber of wood was bolted to the foundation to form the layer of the bridge. As there is no vertical support to the bridge, it inclines to move with the motion of footfall, which can be disconcerting when you are passing the gorge bridge with a furious river almost 300 meters 1,000 feet below you. If you do not imagine taking the bridge, you could always try the aerial gondolas that will get you to the opposite side without the need to fright. Number 10. Seven Mile Bridge, Florida. In the United States, Florida. The most bridges obtain their evil of inducing horror because of their dizzying heights. However, the Seven Mile Bridge in Florida is but only 65 feet above the water at its highest point. Nevertheless, do not be deceived. This bridge is still quite scary. The Seven Mile Bridge plunges right into the ocean attaching some of the Florida Keys with one extra. However, once you are on the bridge, all you can view for miles around is bridge and water. This remoteness, expansion, and feeling of vulnerability are something makes this bridge so terrifying. Particularly when you analyze the fact that if you get in an accident or your car crushes down, you are eventually stuck until help arrives. Once on the bridge, you are also at the impulse of mother nature as storms are frequent and can roll in without caution, leaving those previously on the bridge with no additional option than to keep pushing forward. Number 9. Hanging Bridge of Gaza, Nepal. The Hanging Bridge of Gaza should reasonably as described as the Swinging Bridge of Gaza. Due to the elevation and the area's perceptivity to high breezes. Locals residents, 
visitors, and livestock precariously as it crossed the bridge bends. Though the bridge looks preferably fragile, it is said to be considerably strong. It is still used to move livestock though the animals, are sometimes blinkered to stop them from panicking as they cross the bridge. If simply you could blinker the people to the bridge, are said to have been built to ease overcrowding across other bridges, and are used every day by locals driving their animals across it, which makes the conception of traffic jam. Number 8. Puente de Ojuela, Bridge, Mexico. Even the road driving up to Pointer Puente de Ojuela is challenging to cross, but the bridge itself is terrifying. The bridge is about 300 meters 1000 feet long and is checked nearly 100 meters 327 feet above a valley, the bridge is only pointing 6 meters 2 feet wide. Thankfully, walkers now only use pointed Puente de Ojuela, but pack animals used it in the past. The bridge was formerly assembled in 1898 and was used to move gold and silver taken from the local mines and bring supplies in the bridge as you walk on, and although it has handrails, the places between the lumber are wide which means that you have a good view of the valley below if you are senseless enough to look down. Transportation also travels both ways across the bridge. Therefore, you may find yourself pushed as you walk. If you are strong enough to cross the bridge created, unbelievably by the same people who designed the Brooklyn Bridge, you will be able to visit the Demon Town Museum and one of the abandoned landmines. Number 7. Keswachaka Bridge, Peru. The Keswachaka Bridge. Resting on the Great Inca Road over the Andes is the finest outstanding example of an Inca suspension bridge. The bridges were vital interest in attaching and connecting the Inca Empire, and others continued to be used as regular parts of the road practice for centuries thereafter. The times of battle, the bridges were cut down to preserve the residents from robbers. When the Spanish penetrated, many of the bridges were burned. Inca bridges were made by braiding natural fibers to make the floor handrails and upward ties between the base and the handrails for protection. Stone pillars attach the cables on either side of the bridge. Crossing the bridge is not a continuous experience, it has to be set in the loose reality of the construction concedes walkers to get a good aspect of the river underneath. Local populations reinstated the bridge each year harvesting the grass and weaving it into cables. The citizens of each side of the bridge then work together to pull the ropes across. They do not devastate the old bridge until the new one has been built adjacent to it. Each agreement begins work at their end and meets in the center of the bridge. The whole connection can be rebuilt in three days, after which the associations gather for a festival. Number 6. Coiling Dragon Path Bridge, China. Many humans scared of heights, you are going to discover that this walkway is going to frighten you just looking at the photos. You are not alone and various people would take one side at this adventure and completely turn the other way. Above all, if anyone needs to walk around 5,000 feet in the air anyway? If however, you were taking one, look at this glass substitute and thinking, how fast can I get there? You are not alone either. All you have to do is peek at the photos and see that other adventures are watching to get in some wonderful experience in the world of heights. You have to acknowledge that it would make some unbelievable pictures. That seems is the question that everyone is asking themselves when they look about traveling on this bridge. Number 5, Hongyagu Bridge, China. Sometimes it resembles that bridge architects are wrapped sadistic, people take the architects of Hebei's Hongyagu Bridge that opened at the end of 2017. They have assembled a bridge which spans 488 meters, 1601 feet over a vertical drop of 220 meters, 722 feet which is nerve-wracking sufficient for most people. However, the architects decided to attach a glass floor so the tourists could have a great view of the valley below them and trick their brains into believing that nothing is holding them up. The glass panels are 4 cm 1.6 inches thick, which doesn't seem like a lot when it sits among you in a certain depth. The bridge is capable of supporting 2,000 people at a time, but only 600 are allowed to walk on it just in case. Visitors have to wear shoe gloves to protect the glass from scarifying or breaking. The bridges that contain glass below their feet, who would have identified the bridge authority has assigned staff members at points along the bridge to assist those who feel faint. Still, it could be more critical. The inventors of the glass suspension bridge have designed it with appended sound effects when you are standing and walking on the glass. It sounds as if the glass is crashing beneath your feet. Number 4. Husseini Hanging Bridge. Pakistan. The Husseini Hanging Bridge in Pakistan hardly justifies the name bridge. 
the popular bridge has upgraded his new improved version a few years back, the first even scarier version having been devastated by the weather. The bridge is made of ropes and planks, there is a consistent icy wind waving too, which makes the bridge abruptly. At least 10 people have died while crossing the bridge according to locals residents. If suddenly were fall from this bridge, you would be jumped into the river underneath. Many travelers come to the bridge, often taking two steps onto it, taking a picture and jumping recklessly back. A resident says that however, it is not so easy to walk on this scary bridge. They still frequently make use of the crossing, even carrying extensive packs on their backs while crossing this Husseini bridge. Number 3. Iakazurabashi Bridge, Japan. One of the more unique looking bridges Iakazurabashi is found in Japan's Ia Valley among between the mountains. The Vine Bridge is 45 meters 148 feet long and only 14 meters 46 feet beyond the Ia River. However, what about requires and scariness it makes up for in weirdness. It is assembled from a plant called Hardy Kiwi, which though moderately strong, it is not fitting for bridge building because it is not permanent and is prone to decay. Not a good quality in a bridge, however, the Hardy Kiwi was used at a set independently so that the bridge could be cut down quickly in case of attackers, therefore preventing the invading army from crossing the gorge. The bridge is refurbished every three years, and the vines are fastened to tall cedars, at either side of the gorge. In these days of health and safety, the plants also hide steel ropes inside them just in case. Despite, the wide gaps between the steps of the bridge, giving an upright view of the river underneath, and the wild swinging as you pass along, it is still enough to frighten the life out of most visitants. Number 2, Kwandinsky Bridge, Russia. You have to have nerves of steel to drive along, this adrenaline-inducing shaky bridge in Russia, to cross the crumbly Kwandinsky Bridge in the trans bicycle area drivers, must navigate a tiny six-foot-wide path with no rail, or safety peculiarities to save them from overthrowing into the frozen water underneath. To make concerns worse, the old metal structure is coated with wooden planks, which can be slippery due to the expected snow and ice. According to Central the trans Beagle Region Bridge, which crosses the Venom River was built to be part of the Baikal Armor Mainline Railway. Despite this, never came to completion, leaving the 1,500 residents of the Quanta village available free to use the bridge. The crumbling structure supposedly has not seen repairs in the last three decades since it was established, making for a nail-biting drive for those strong enough to cross it. Replying to this are the terrifying strong winds, that scared to sweep gamblers on the 1,870-foot-long bridge into the watery depths below. Truck drivers are set to cross the bridge with their shutters, rolled down to prevent the wind from overthrowing their vehicles. The symbols, according to Russian bloggers, Sergei Delia who recorded the rundown bridge. Surprisingly, there is no online experience of any accidents or deaths linked to the Kwandinsky Bridge. However, he theorizes this could be due to the restricted number of drivers who are confident to cross this scary bridge. Number 1. Ashima, Ohashi Bridge, Japan. This should be located in western Japan, the Ashima Ohashi Bridge looks more like a roller coaster than a road path. It connects the city of Matsue in Shimane, prefecture to Sakai Minato, in Totori prefecture and is a roadway to outer space, a bypass to vomiting from nausea, making driving over this thing one seriously thrilling car ride and one of the most magnificent bridges in the world. The bridge is a two-lane concrete highway. It begins so sharply it gives the most brilliant drivers without the fear, highlighting the extremely steep slope that allows ships to pass below it. However, a particular road spans a mile and sends drivers soaring into the sky at the very sharp inclination of 6.1% across Lake Nakamari. The bridge is 1.44 kilometers long spun with a width of 11.3 meters. It is the longest rigid frame bridge in Japan. If you look accurate on the bridge, the extremely steep incline makes it look further like a roller coaster than a road for cars. To drive on this roller coaster bridge, it stretches about a mile long, with a height of about 144 feet, and a 5.1% and 6.1% grade on each terminal. The bridge has an idiotically steep and horrifying slope that is tall enough to let ships pass below it with efficiency. It is a stretch of road that has freaked out even the usual convinced drivers as it looks like a crazy roller coaster.
You want to survive in this world being an animal, strength is all you need. Animal strength is all about how you carry weight, tear, pull or carry, in a similar manner we define human strength. Some animals are stronger as compared to their own bodies. Want to see the strongest animal in the world then make sure to stay till the end of the video, and check out our number one pick. Before we move further, make sure you hit that like button, and also subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you can be up to date with our interesting content. Number 10, Eagle. The eagle is considered the strongest bird on earth based on the power to lift weights that are heavier than themselves. Since Babylonian times eagles are considered to be the symbol of immense power, vision and strength. They are large with heavy beaks and powerful sharp claws that they use in grabbing prey and also fighting eagles can lift prey off the ground that is four times heavier than themselves. They have a closer likeness and build and flight characteristics to vultures but are fully feathered and mainly feed on live prey. They are known to hunt deer, foxes, wild cats and large snakes. According to different characteristics, almost 60 remarkable species of eagles are there. Their powerful and broad wings enable the eagle to fly to a height of 10,000 to 15,000 feet using the wind of storms to propel them even higher. The vision of the eagle is unlike that of any other bird, or human they have more light sensitive cells, in their eyes that enable them to spot prey and enemies, from afar interesting to note about eagles is they mate for life, and they use the same nest every year incubating, a small bunch of six eggs each time they pitch their nest in inaccessible places for a good reason. Number 9, Anaconda. Anaconda belongs to a family of non-venomous constrictors. Their powerful bodies help them to squeeze their prey to death. They then swallow the dead prey whole as one would imagine the digestion of prey may take a few days due to the nature of feeding. Their fluids make them heaviest and largest snakes. They can grow up to or more than 30 feet long and weigh up to 227 kilograms. The females are generally longer than the male anacondas are best known for their amazing swimming ability. Almost four different types of species are found which are yellow, darky, spotted, and the Bolivian anaconda. The green anaconda is the largest of them all the size of their prey does not matter, as they have been known to squeeze large prey such as jaguars, caimans, and wild pigs. Number 8, Grizzly Bear. The grizzly bear was short to make it on our list, because they are one of the most powerful, and massive land animals in the world their habitats can be found in Canada, and the northwestern United States. Grizzly bears are massive creatures reaching a height of 2.5 meters, and weighing up to 410 kilograms that Kodiak bear, which is a type of grizzly bear that can grow up to 3 meters, and attain a weight of up to 780 kilograms. Because of their massive size they rarely climb. Other types of grizzlies are quite agile, despite their size and can run up to 48 kilometers per hour. Their structure is menacing sporting a big head sharp 6 inch claws and a muscular hump. Their strong teeth help them measure by force of 1200 pounds per inch too, with such a strong bind force they can crush a bowling ball. A grizzly bear is easily irritated when someone provokes them. They will attack any animal that seems like a threat, to them ever use the term as angry as a mama bear, and angry mama grizzly bear is even more fearsome when to cubs get threatened. Number 7, Oxen. Oxen are also called bullock. In some countries, they're the larger and stronger breed of cattle that are bred to work as draft animals oxen have been used as draft animals since 4000 BC, oxen are castrated to make them easier to control and to use for work. Adult females are called cows. While the intact males are called bulls, they can grow up to 2.5 meters in length and weigh up to 640 kilograms. Oxen are so strong, they can carry weights of up to 800 kilograms. This is why they are used for plowing and pulling carts. They're able to carry these heavy loads for longer periods. Compared to other draft animals, Oxen are quite calm and have been used as a symbol of strength and stability. The saying as strong as an ox is not a myth because these animals are capable of pulling weights of up to and more than their weight. Number 6, Tiger. The tiger is considered the largest and strongest member of the cat family. 
Its only rival being the lion and adult tiger can reach up to meters in length and 306 kilograms in body weight. They are mostly found in swamps, rainforests, and grasslands across Southeast Asia. Male tigers are generally larger than the females and can reach a shoulder length of 1 meter. Tigers are known for their bright brown orange color and black stripes with a pale underside. There are different species of tigers, for example, the Bengal tiger and the rare Siberian tiger. There is also a very rare tiger species known as the white tiger or albino tiger. It has been seen mostly in India tigers are known to prey on animals that are up to twice their size. They have powerful jaws and sharp teeth for hunting prey with upper canines that can reach 10 centimeters in length. However, they stay away from healthy larger animals but have been known to attack water buffalo and elephants tigers learn to hunt and survive in the wild from their mothers. Hence, there is a long waiting period and cubs stay with their mothers until about the second year when they can hunt and kill for themselves. Tigers are an endangered species. Number 5. Gorillas. Gorillas are known for their incredible strength, and are the largest of the ape family. They are found only in the tropical forests of equatorial Africa, they can reach a length of 1.75 meters and weigh up to 200 kilograms. They have powerful arms and can carry weight more than 10 times their body weight. They walk using their knuckles to help balance their weight, and swing from branches and trees using one or two arms. This makes their arms stronger and more powerful. The average gorilla is 15 times stronger than an adult male human, adult gorilla arms are almost 20% longer than their legs. They possess thick and strong chests with black skin and hair. Adult males have more prominent features than females, such as the crest on the skull and a patch of grey or silver hairs on the lower part of their back. Gorillas feed mostly on plants and fruits. They are vegetarians, and live in stable groups of about 6 to 30 members, led by one or two silverbacks. They sleep in now. On the ground or in trees, a new nest is built every night because they wander a few kilometers every day around the forest. Number 4, African Elephant. The African Elephant is a genus with two elephant species, namely the African Bush Elephant, and the African Forest Elephant, which is smaller they are herbivores and live in groups. African Elephants are found in Central and West Africa. Nomadic groups travel in circles in the desert in search of water. Elephants move around in female-led groups, their leader being the oldest and biggest of them all the gestation period of elephants is 22 months and at birth. A baby elephant weighs about 90 kilograms and stands at 3 feet tall and an adult African elephant can weigh up to 6,350 kilograms and stand at almost 13 feet tall. They're considered the strongest land animals when it comes to brute strength, they can carry up to 9,000 kilograms the equivalent of about 130 humans, African elephants are known for their tusks, which can grow up to 2.5 meters and weigh about 45 kilograms. They use their tusks for digging, defending themselves against predators, and fighting each other, especially the males. Number 3, Leafcutter Ant. These small creatures are incredibly strong for their size at roughly 2.1 centimeters long, the leaf cutter and can carry weights that are 50 times heavier than it is. In addition to being able to carry large weights that leaf cutter, and can travel long distances to its nest while carrying these weights. They have strong jaws with which they use to hold the object, they are carrying the leaf cutter, and vibrates its jaws at a rate of 1000 times per second, which enables it to carry heavy leaves due to the force produced. They are found mostly in Mexico, South, and Central America. They are also called parasol ants because of how they carry the leaves. Remarkably, they don't feed on the leaves, however, they use the leaves as fertilizer to cultivate fungi, which is what they eventually feed on a colony of leaf cutter ants, can contain millions of individuals, and they can be a threat to vegetation as one colony of leaf cutters can defoliate valuable plants. Leaf cutter ants are strong and incredibly fast, they can defoliate a tree in as little as 24 hours. No wonder they are considered a threat to the environment. Number 2, Rhinoceros Beetle. 
Since we are talking about the weight an animal can carry regarding its actual body weight. The rhinoceros beetle ranks high some ranking as high as the second strongest animal in the world. Coming right after the dung beetle, the rhinoceros beetle can carry weights that are 850 times heavier than itself. To give this some perception, imagine a human lifting nine adult male elephants at once. These beetles are the largest family of beetles with two horns, one on its head and the other on the thorax, like that of a rhino where it gets its name. From there are over 300 species of rhinoceros beetles known they are found in every continent. Except for Antarctica, they live in plants, leaf litter, and fallen logs. The horns of the rhinoceros beetle are used to move effortlessly on forest floors and to find off other males from a female during a mating ritual. Female rhinoceros beetles lay about 50 eggs that hatch into larvae. When disturbed, the rhinoceros beetle will make a hissing sound by rubbing its wings and abdomen together. Number 1, Dung Beetle. The sturdiest animal on earth statistically, goes to the dung beetle at a half inch long the dung beetles, can lift objects that are 1141 times heavier than their body weight. This is equivalent to a human carrying 72,574 kilograms at once. Interesting to notice how the dung beetles, develop the incredible strength they use their horns to find off rivals during a mating ritual. Dung beetles get their name from their fascinating choice of meals dung, they feed on the dung of other animals dung beetles are categorized, into three main groups, the dwellers, the tunnelers, and the rollers as their name implies, the rollers roll, and shape the dung into balls, and roll them back to the holes where they live. The tunnelers dig tunnels to store the dung, they find and the dwellers live inside the dung piles. Moreover, that is 10 strongest animals in the world. If you relished this video, please give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments what you feel. It's been 9000 years ago, humid weather controlled in amazing parts of the world's deserts. For many thousand years just like green deserts become the home of many animals and humans. Archaeologists and anthropologists produce many fascinating things. Things that will amaze you. Number 10. Cemetery of Marine Mammals in the Middle of the Desert. In 2010, during the development of a new road in the Atacama Desert workers, discovered the remains of approximately 40 prehistoric whales, and different ancient marine life. How they can end up like this? Why did so many various species die almost concurrently, and how they all die in the same area? Such as these questions irritated paleontologists in the period, the most reasonable explanation is that whales, fish, and different maritime animals died here six to nine million years ago. When there was still an ocean here, and the cause of destruction could have been poisonous algae. Due to the experience that this place finally formed a desert. They remained preserved in exceptional shape. Number 9. People are giants. Many stories we have heard about the giant people, giants titans. We are usually informed about the verdicts of people of abnormal growth in several parts of the earth. So maybe their parents were giants. A Stone Age burial was located in the Sahara Desert. It's been about 5000 years ago. In 2006, where approximately 200 graves were found. All of them were identified by high growth more than six and a half feet. Skeletons of giants were discovered into the bone of a man's leg was four feet. On this basis, the height of the giant man should be 16 feet. In China, many people were found whose height was between 9 to 10 feet and weighed 660 pounds. In Australia, anthropologists found a petrified tooth with a height of two and a half and a diameter of one and a half inches. It is expected that the owner of the tooth should be 24 feet tall, and weight approx 815 pounds. As the nine million years ago the analysis concluded, assumed that all the main masterpieces of ancientness, the Stonehenge Sphinx, and Egyptian pyramids, were built by these giants. According to explorers, the giants is the society that preceded us. Scientists and anthropologists even found drawings on the rocks of the Incas. 
They were discovered in Peru and these drawings explicate that people lived with dinosaurs. Matching these pictures, the explorers discovered an astonishing fact, a man and a dinosaur had approximately the same dimensions. Possibly giant people also lived in the era of the dinosaurs. Number 8. Libyan Desert Glass. Libyan Desert Glass is the rarest natural crystal of which a pendant was made from the monument of today in familiar. If we think about the rarest mineral on earth, many will instantly think of precious metals, some the diamond, and its color variations. Despite this is the material from which this scarab is made. Libyan Desert Glass. Those are small pieces of light green or light yellow shade, and sometimes they are transparent. They're essentially completely formed of silicon oxide and beer to a copy that temperatures over 2000 degrees. The age is calculated at 30 million years. The past record of its formation is not fully explained. The most common theory is a huge meteorite crashed into the desert or exploded quickly above it. From the impact of such an energy, a crater formed the sand mountain and the liquid disorder spread out over a wide area. Due to the rapid cooling during the flight, the sand turned into glass, and by the time passe the glass is shining. Number 7. Snow in the Desert. The snow in the desert sounds like madness, but finally, it happens. In December 2016 snow dropped in the Sahara Desert, according to a cinematographer who managed to capture this unprecedented appearance, this lay for regarding a day, and then started to melt. This appearance is extremely rare before that snowfall happens last fell in the Sahara Desert 40 years ago. Number 6. Mummified Hand. There was a place in Peru, South America. Explorers discovered a mummified hand with 3 to 8 inch fingers. The hand was discovered in the desert in a hole where the Incas buried human bodies. Later explorers discovered an elongated head which like the hand belonged to something that science doesn't know. The source of the three-fingered hand is difficult to determine, where the explorers are carefully studying the finiteness, that already conducted an investigation using X-rays. The picture revealed the presence of five joints and five bones. This composition of the hand objects from that which is characteristic of the man. Besides, a fingernail and a piece of the metal ring below the skin whereas on the arm, and the poem itself was developed in several areas. Number 5. The People of Nazca. These people became famous due to their amazing mysterious drawings put on the surface of the Nazca Desert in Peru. After all, the measurement of each image is about 165 feet in diameter. Of course, there are various mystical versions about the creation of these drawings. For example, what the drawings did for the arrival of ships of extraterrestrial cultures. But specialists tend to observe that the Nazca people use their hieroglyphs to interact with the gods running along the outline of the picture. Among these images, you can see a monkey, a spider, a bird, and even a human being too. It resembles an astronaut. This even though images were made 1500,000 years ago. The Nazca made small channels in the ground at a depth of 8 inches, thus created pictures and only to gratitude the desert climate. They have survived to this day. No less puzzling was the disappearance of the people in the 6th century AD. Perhaps this was due to drought or to be more accurate. However, it has not yet been possible to authenticate. Number 4. The Missing Army of the Persian King, Canvases. The second, the myriad of bones, jewels, and weapons discovered by Italian archaeologists, in the Egyptian desert could be the remainders, of the army of campuses, and the second son of Cyrus the Great. Over 2500 years ago, according to this history, the powerful army vanished without a track and trace, remains of a mighty army of Persians were scattered in the sands of the western Egypt and desert. The empiricist discovery will support one of the most outstanding mysteries of archaeology, to be solved by scientists. Bronze weapons, a silver bracelet earrings and hundreds of human bones are located in the huge Sahara, where humans' feet have never walked. This event gave rise to beliefs that the last army of the Persian king Canvases II, who was buried by a catastrophic sandstorm in 525 BC is finally discovered. Number 3. The Last Plane. 
The accidental finding was made by an oil man searching a remote area of the western desert near Egypt. The tail signs of the Kitty Hawk before they were untouched, which enable researchers to trace its source and service records. A senior aviation sergeant Copping was a pilot of a unit found in Egypt during the North African campaign against Ramu is believed to have lost his way flying. The damage Kitty Hawk to the air base. All that is understood is that he started the course and did not arrive at the base again. Since that day in 1942, the mystery of what followed was lost in the literal sense in the sands of time. According to the surviving remains of the aircraft, it can be assumed that he made a jungle landing, the plane lies substantially intact next to a shelter when he was waiting for rescue. Exceptionally, the aircraft remained still almost untouched for the next seven decades. The weapons and ammunition discovered near it. Most of the cockpit devices are in good intact, and a tangled propeller is a few footsteps from the plane. Estimating by the picture on the site of the crash, the pilot must have survived the catastrophe. Judging by the parachute downstairs next to the plane, the aviator used it to protect himself from the sun. Radio and batteries were outside the plane, and it seems like he tried to work with the walkie-talkie, but unfortunately, the things aren't in working form. If he died on board the plane his remains would have been discovered. But since after crashing no one came after to rescue him, it's more acceptable that he tried a lot to get out of the desert, but ended as being killed. Number 2. Fly Giza. Join this extraordinary geezer called fly, minerals, algae, and cyanobacteria give it this unbelievable color. The movement of hot water of the geezer fly does not end for a second. The geezer continually throws out three jets. At present his height would be almost 5 feet big and if you take into reckoning the surrounding terraces and the tangible elevation, it will be about 13 feet. At one moment there was the fly ranch on the side of this geezer in 1916, when the owner of the ranch drilled an abyss, hoping to turn the desert into productive wet meadows, but inadvertently blundered upon a geothermal hole of water not reaching the desired goal. The well was covered, but a few decades later in 1964, boiling water from under the area began to break through the hole to the surface. At that same time was drilling the abyss, a wonderful little fountain was instructed, eventually creating this interesting beauty. The underground water of this turbulent region is full of various minerals and algae. The geyser started to form walls that grew and hardened. The minerals composed this miracle in bright colors, but no one knew about it. It was environed by swamps and lost among the rest of the panorama. Number 1. Magic Circles in the Namib Desert. In fascinating areas of the Namib Desert, where there is little nature strange circles were identified. The origin of this appearance was not known for hundreds of years. It is in these circles that vegetation is completely absent, despite something building all around them. Plus the unbelievable shapes of circles and their size, reaching up to 40 feet in broadness, gave birth to many myths and considerations. Residents called them evidence of God, as well as the result of the burning flame of an undercover dragon. But only in recent years, have explorers discovered the solution to this phenomenon. As a result, the most probable version is they are smoothed by termites, who arranged their homes in such a bizarre geometric pattern. In the method, they try to take all the water for themselves and as a result, it is very challenging for plants to survive in the place where their colony was. Jeremiads do not escalate in the region. Have a foreign territory and because of this, many unique circles are instructed. That is it is like a place that drives on the water. However, just like routine homes, sometimes ships perceive abandoned. They unless meeting with an accident, or cannot be recovered or they are no extended fit for purpose, forgetting us with just the scale of their previous greatness. Number 15. The French aircraft carrier, Clemenceau, R-98, was once the dignity of the French Navy, serving as only their sixth aircraft carrier. Built this aircraft carrier in the early 1960s. It described the pinnacle of French engineering at the time, it originated comparable to the finest comparable ships of Great Britain, and the United States. Lit Clem, as it was associated with those who sailed, on it served as France's protector for almost four decades, before approaching the end of its serviceable life. 
In 1997, it was exported to India to be scrapped, but anxieties about pollution caused by breaking the ship, up saw it held up by the Indian authorities, and temporarily stolen by activists before it was permanently active. For distribution by the British, who had deconstructed it in Hartlepool in the year 2010. Number 14. The MV Kala Kala had a different and mysterious life. She was the luxury spirit of the future when she launched in 1935. Beautiful and delighting passengers who had never seen a ship of this model before. She was still a tourist fascination 30 years later when she was assassinated in Seattle, with only the city's Space Needle being better recognized as a landmark in the area. Louis Proctor of the Boeing Company, better known for producing planes was responsible for the ship's unusual Art Deco design, with a flying bridge subdivision designed to resemble wings. At her height, she entertained a full live orchestra and dance parties. Predestinated, her uncommon design caused effects that discredited her integrity such as poorly aligned engines, causing the same damage during operations, her position degraded over time, and ultimately, she was beached in Kodiak in 1970. To become a shrimp processing unit, what remained of her was finally disposed of in 2015. Number 13. SS America was once recognized as the most stylish and impressive ship ever to fly in the American flag. Originally designated for wartime service under the name, USS West Point. The large ship started life as a troop transport carrier but was reimagined as a gratification cruise liner. After the conclusion of hostilities, she navigated between New York and Europe with the luxurious staterooms of her interior providing convenience and luxury to her prosperous guests. By the 1980s her age was persuading and she was practically sold for scrap, but Thai investors had plans to change her into the waterbound five-star hotel they paid for her to be induced to bear who kept, but she ran ground and near Fuerteventura in a thunderstorm, with the tide disclosing her in half. Over the next 20 years, she gradually slipped under the waves. Number 12. Once there is a time when NATO commanders, lived in fear of ships like the mighty Soviet cruiser Murmansk, but before it gets rusted shell and planted in the fjords of Norway. Murmansk was a stimulating love-class cruiser, one of several were proposed for construction during diplomatic tensions during the Cold War with the time exceptional anti-aircraft inclinations. Missile technology proceeded faster than had been anticipated though, and the Sfard loves became antiquated long before their time. Their Murmansk was sold for scrap, she was being dragged to a breaker's yard, and she displayed wedged in a fjord. The rusting cargo became ugly. Moreover, toxic poisoning waters as it broke down. So an unnatural dam was built approximately while it was considered apart piece by piece. Number 11. The Swedes country in Europe was contracted, for the construction of the MV Cherry Ventura cargo ship, but she spent most last of her life on the beach in Australia. That might seem like fun for a person, but not so much for an extensive cargo ship. The Cherry Venture ran grounded onto a beach in Queensland in 1973. Due to a compound of high winds and poor planning, the ship was not conducting sufficient cargo, which lifted sitting too high in the water and lying to drifting. Various struggles to refloat the container followed throughout the next 20 years, but none succeeded. But ultimately in 2007, it was concluded it was too threatening to leave the ship where it was any more abundant because as best I was in the engine had become presented, and so it was devastated and then buried. Number 10. Museum as World Discover is a shipwreck, you can still go and revisit today in a scenic bay, near the Solomon Islands just don't anticipate there to be looking her best. She's stayed there since April 2000. In addition, time hasn't been pleasant to her. The Germans built the extravagance cruise ship in 1974. Moreover, it navigated the world happily for a quarter of a century before it struck an undiscovered rock formation near the islands, and got penetrated. This was exceptionally sad, as she'd endured a full refurbishment in 1996, to make her look as good as new. When the ship struck the rock and was critically damaged, the captain heroically survived to steer her into the bay, where all passengers escaped securely. Locals then jumped on board and looted everything on the cruise right there, producing the damage of safeguarding the world discover too high to be worth the inconvenience. Number 9. When the Arctic Discovers was first elected, as a Canadian research vessel designated the A.D. Cameron in 1958, the builders could never have known, it would play such an extraordinary role in the Chronicle, a sturdy and robust vessel. 
She was awarded the name we know her avoided in 1988 when she was being used by an infamous scam and marine engineer Tommy Thompson. Thompson was convinced that he had found the wreck of the SS Central America, a cargo ship that sank in 1857. While loaded with gold from the California Gold Rush. Thompson was honest about his invention, but he did not want to share it with the people he encouraged to pay. He restored millions of dollars worth of gold from the seafloor and then left with it, discarding the Arctic Discover and the method. He was ultimately found in 2015 but pretended to no longer occupy any gold. The Arctic Discover hungered in Florida until it was failed in 2013 to breakers who demolished it a piece at a time. Number 8. The final monarch of France, Napoleon III had other approaches for history. Former naval harbor when he commanded it to be built, but it's finished up as the final resting position, for a whole host of the unwanted rusting merchant, and military capillaries. This unconventional sea cemetery restrains a full-sized cruiser, as well as many smaller ships, all of which are systematically used as target exercise by the French military. They have taken quite a battering over time, and one by one, they are dropping below the waves. Before long they will all be gone permanently. Number 7. Chittagong Shipbreaking Guard is the biggest in the world, dealing with a fifth of the entire world shipbreaking business and contracts over 200,000 people in Bangladesh. It all originated with one ship in 1960. The Greek vessel Empty Alpine converted stranded in Chittagong, after a thunderstorm and couldn't be retrieved or salvaged, Chittagong Steelhouse suborned the stricken ship in 1965. Furthermore said about scrapping it, the work proved productive, and a completely new Bangladeshi industry was displayed. More than 40 different organizations operate in the area of the shipyard, which enhanced a tourist performance until the administration stopped letting foreigners get too close to it because of the hazardous conditions bounded. Number 6. Friendly seems like a strange name for a retired battleship, but that is the title that was given to this former Soviet guard ship, which was approved and constructed in 1973. From 1975 beyond, Friendly was part of the Baltic fleet, cruising throughout Europe and retaining the peace. The well-traveled and regular vessel had more than realized its departure. By the season, 2003 came with the Russian Navy violating her at scrap price to separate investors. The investors required to turn her into a museum, or probably even an expensive nightclub with permanent moorings in Moscow. Nevertheless, sadly their plans fell through beneficial spent 13 years on the Kim Ki Reservoir, while struggles were made to betray it again. And during that time vandals and looters targeted her frequently, damaging the hole in the process. Sinking and exceeding redemption friendly was cut into scrap metal and predisposed in April 2016. Number 5. Creating a huge ship out of concrete doesn't seem like an exceptional idea. Moreover, it didn't work well in training and less, but you have to appreciate the Chinese for trying it. China rehearsed with concrete chips in the 1970s when there was a deficiency of steel in the country, and the decision was good. She measured 345 feet in length and was the longest concrete ship ever formulated when she was launched in 1973. However, almost a year later, she had been abandoned on a riverbank after working costs declared too high to be practical. The government had no further use for her, but visitors loved her. She was a popular site for photographers for the 40 years she outlived there and some people even lived in her concisely. Number 4. On the Namibian coast northern part of the Atlantic coast. 1,300 feet from the shorelines of the Atlantic Ocean, dreams the slowly rusting wreck of the Edward Boland shipwreck, exposed to the elements. The story of the Edward Boland shipwreck inaugurates, in Germany in October 1890, when she launched from Hamburg as a trading vessel and, became the first steam-powered ship to transportation and mail between Germany and West Africa. She was managed for a difference in trade and cargo, purposes for the bulk of her 19 years of assistance and she was laden with supplies to support diamond mining activities, near Conception Bay when she appeared with her fate. With her crew distracted by unseasonal fog, she ran grounded on a sandbank on September 5, 1909. Her crew was uninjured, and all the cargo was unloaded, but the ship was stuck fast and couldn't be towed to protection. Number 3. The IX-529, better known as the Sea Shadow was a top-secret United States defense project. The concept was to take the technology that had been successful in stealth jets, like the Lockheed, F-117 Nighthawk, and connect it to seafaring vehicles. The concept never quite caught on Sea Shadow, 
sailed out of California on a distributed mission in 1984. Geared for computerized operations with a skeleton crew on board. It remained to sail in secret everywhere the Cold War, with its existence only converting public knowledge in 1993. When it was forcefully retired, only one model of this ship was ever formulated, and it was reflected to be a failed prototype. Complicated struggles to sell the vessel failed, resulting in an it is relaxing at the San Diego Naval Station until 2006. Finally being scrapped in 2012. Number 2. You can tell that the SS Airfield, was created to last. Even now when it's over a century old, and balanced down with trees that have developed into its abandoned frame, it somehow visits afloat. The SS Airfield is a long-standing, resident of home Bush Bay in Australia, where it ended a life that originated in 1911 in Great Britain, she was a coal-carrying steam-powered ship, that struggled hard for over 50 years, including as an auxiliary troops support ship through the global struggle in the 1940s. She survived that punctuation, and continued to deliver coal until 1972. When the time decisively came for her to retire, ordinarily boats sent to home Bush Bay or to be scrapped, but SS Airfield was kept as a display vessel. Her unintended onboard forest has displayed a tourist fascination. Number 1. You can understand just by looking at the old, Al Mansur, which explicates, as the victor was once a gratified and wealthy vassal. That's no astonishment. It was built for $30 million and associated with former, Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein. Oman was the pride of Hussein's fleet 400 feet long and restraining incredible riches within even the tap wherever gold, plated Hussein was paranoid. He had a secret escape tunnel built into the ship, which would have taken him immediately to a submarine launch pod in an emergency. US bombing raids seriously damaged the ship during 2003. However, this ship didn't sink, it was exceeding salvage. Al Mansur was dragged to bars to be scrapped in 2005. It may have been called Victor, but it suffered in the conclusion. Subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications and you will be